Hello, Scudder Peter back again. So this is part two of Cub Car Assembly. This one is specific for Cub Cars. Um, while the previous one talking about wheels was very generic for beaver buggies, Cub Cars, and Scout Trucks. Now, every car cannot, as per the Cub Car Kit, 142 grams or five ounces is the weight of the vehicle. Uh, a lot of cases we're not worried about the height or the length too much. The width definitely comes into play because of the width of the tracks and you don't want to be hitting the cars beside you. And then the, but the weight is really where it comes into play. So we use standard scales. This is one of the scales. I have used this in, in the competitions and I'm just going to change the units to grams and it's reset to zero. And I'm just going to put the car on and weigh it is right now. And it weighs 112 grams, fluctuating almost 113. So this car is actually a little light. So I'd mentioned a Forester bit. This is a Forester bit. This is one and three eighths in size, one inch, three eighths in size. And what we have here are washers, which are one and a quarter in size. And these washers fit inside the size of the Forester bit. And I've also got some hot glue guns warming up. Standard craft hot glue guns is perfectly fine. I don't need my template either. Okay. So there's also other weight kits that you can buy at the Scout Shop. And these ones, you can break them off at different heights with a pair of pliers. And when you put them together, they form a circle. So if you drill a hole in your car, you can use put these weights in. In the old days when I was a cub, we'd use lead and we'd cut a groove in our cars and we pour the melted lead in it. That was fun too. So a way that we do this is we buy these washers, Home Depot, Home Hardware, uh, Lowe's, whichever. So these are one and a quarter inch washers with a quarter inch hole. So they're as much metal as we can get. So my car weighs 112 grams and now it weighs 120 with the one washer 129 138 147 okay so that's too high because 142 is our limit now what we do with the drill now I've got Three washers I can be using. I'm going to turn off the battery there. So I got three washers. That's how thick it is. And there are PhDs written in the United States for the pine wood derbies that they run as to where's the best place to be putting your weights and all the different things, whether you should, there's lots of different ways of doing things. What we do is we ask the youth, where do you want the weight put? Where do you want the hole drilled? So usually we don't drill on the top where they've done all their painting. We put the weight somewhere in between the two axles. So somewhere in here is where we do it. Preferably in the middle. I've got my drill, Forrester bits here. And what I want to do is get it pretty much in the center. And there we go. That's not three washers deep because I'm actually going to drill. Actually, it is. But with the hot glue, it'll take up some space. So I'm actually going to drill. A second one back a little bit further there we go now just out of curiosity and I actually never done this just want to see how much the car weighs now with that wood that I removed because maybe 
I can get that set. Oh, so I've taken it's about 108. So I've taken three grams of wood away. And my car weighs 134 with three washers. But now if I put my fourth washer on, it weighs 143. Plus there's going to be the glue. So what I could do is take a little bit more wood off. So now I've removed some extra wood. And let's see how much the car weighs now. It is 142. Hmm. Still a little too high, especially when we're going to toss the glue on. So maybe what I can do is take one of the washers away and toss in a smaller washer. Much better. Okay. So I'm just going to fix this one up a little bit better. a little bit deeper now. Hmm. Let's see. Zeroed four washers. 140. Well, let's see how much glue we actually use. So I'm just using a standard glue gun. Feels all warmed up. I put a ring of glue around the bottom and I put my washer on and push it in. Ring of glue. Push my washer in. Next washer, ring of glue. Washer in. Let's check what the weight is. The weight says 133. I put the other washer on, 141. So we've gained one gram by putting three washers in plus the glue. So let's try one more. One forty two, one forty one, one forty two. Right on the nose, that's the maximum weight. Now the most important thing to double check now is getting rid of the little stray <clears throat> the stray uh, glue. A lot of what happens in a lot of cases, the washers stick out at the bottom of the cars. The tracks have a raised center part. If, the, if there's anything protruding from the bottom of the car, it's going to rub on that and it's going to slow the car down. In some cases, the car doesn't even get to the end of the track. So you want to make sure that where you have put your washers is not protruding. And as you look down the line, look down the line of the car, I don't see anything showing up. It's a little, it's right even at this part. But that came out pretty good. That's adding the weights. Forrester bit comes in really handy. And the weights, the uh, weight, what we're using for weights are just washers, one quarter, using a one and three eighths Forrester bit. This is all equipment that we use to help the pack and the scouts uh, get their cars and trucks ready. We don't add additional weight to the beaver buggies. So Part one on the wheels is the most important for the beaver buggies and just to have fun for the beaver buggies.